So in this in-depth, hands-on review, I'm gonna cover the brand background briefly, the style and design of this wallet, the quality and construction, its functionality and durability, does it pass the drop test, and pros and cons, and ultimately, is the wallet worth it? Minimalist wallets are still having a moment after they began trending over the past few years. Long gone are the days when men are carrying around a bulky monstrosity of a wallet, aka the Costanza. Wallets like the Ridge have capitalized on the popular trends of slim wallets, and with advertising budgets out the wazoo, brands are able to spread their message far and wide through media outlets, influencers, and even celebrities. One thing's for sure is that there's power in advertising to generate brand awareness and ultimately get eyeballs on products. But enter Ridge Wallets. So to date, I have amassed a few dozen minimalist slim wallets, and so I have many reference points as to what comprises a quality minimal wallet. In fact, you can watch my best minimalist wallets roundup featuring 25 different slim wallets, and I might have an updated video coming soon. So the Ridge was founded in 2013 as a father-son team of Daniel and Paul Kane via Kickstarter. The mission is simple, to maximize your life by minimizing what you bring along. And so they're all about streamlining daily life through quality products and eliminating excess. Carry less, live more is their mantra. The current product lineup consists of everyday carry items and accessories like slim wallets, backpacks, pens, key cases, rings, and watches. While the Ridge wallet was likely made with men in mind, I've surprisingly ran into two women already carrying a Ridge wallet, which took me by surprise, but then again, Ridge is everywhere these days. The imitation game. So you know what they say about imitation. And with the success of Ridge wallets, it's no surprise that they literally have dozens of copycats. Brands like ARW and Mountain Voyage carry almost exact replica wallets along with similar functionality all the while undercutting the Ridge with cheaper prices. Some companies have even successfully iterated on the Ridge wallet design, implementing additional features to further enhance their slim wallet's functionality and customizability. Two brands that come to mind are Furid with the pull tab and Axwell with its fully customizable Maglock cover plate. And so both of these brands are aluminum plated as well with a similar matte finish. And so, what about Ridge though? Hey, if you want access to content that I don't share anywhere else, be sure to subscribe to the Gent Within newsletter where I send you a weekly dispatch on all things style, self-development, dating, and confidence. I'll have it linked down in the description. Now let's get into the style and design. So the Ridge is one of the more minimal and most compact wallets on the market today. They're highlighted by a hard case aluminum their flagship material, which provides a balance of durability and weight. Some would rather call this a card holder instead of a wallet in the traditional sense because of this compact form factor. This one I have right here is in the Alpine navy color that came equipped with the cash strap and money clip attachment. And I also have the forged ember, which is a slate gray mix with red and made of forged carbon with a matte finish and infused with these little red aluminum flakes but this one really is a striking design so the ridge has myriads of different styles and designs to choose from in their vast collection from the premium design 24 karat gold to carbon fiber a matte finish a unique laser engraved finish and even limited edition collabs in terms of the wallet's bulk it's really compact and minimal and so it's not bulky at all it's one of the more compact wallets I've tested compared to several dozen that I own. And though it is ultra compact with the two plates, it does have a little bit of thickness to it. So it's not quite as slim as the ultra thin Nomadic or Flowfold wallet, for example, which also have entirely different construction. The Ridge wallet easily fits into your front pocket or jacket pocket. I honestly haven't carried a wallet in my back pocket for over a decade now. So how many cards can it hold? The whole point of getting a minimalist wallet or card holder is to carry less. So while the Ridge is able to hold 12 cards with no issue, why would you? While testing, I actually managed to squeeze 16 cards in without a hitch, but that's pretty absurd and it looked ridiculous. So currently I only carry six cards max with a handful of bills and a tracker card from Chipolo that conveniently alerts me on my phone anytime I leave my wallet behind. 
So my recommendation is to pare down to the absolute essential cards that you might need, like driver's license ID, of course, two to three credit cards, maybe one to two debit cards, an insurance card, and a tracker card. That's it, no membership cards, access cards, etc. You know, we're in a digital age now, and so most of your other cards are can be accessed digitally via your mobile phones. Now onto the quality and construction. So all Rage wallets have RFID blocking, which is sort of standard in a majority of minimalist wallets these days. It's a pretty a lightweight wallet coming in at anywhere between 1.6 ounces to two ounces, depending on the material. The aluminum is a little bit heavier while the carbon fiber is the lightest. This anodized, Aluminum plated wallet in the navy color, it's scratch resistant, and so you don't have to worry about your keys scratching it up, or if you happen to drop it on the concrete, it's going to hold its own. So along with the compact nature of this wallet, it feels really well built. It feels like, it feels as good in my hand as it does on display. And so from what I can tell, the aluminum is solid and strong. It doesn't get bent out of the shape, although the aluminum plate is relatively thin. Additionally, the elastic band is quite durable. It's really stretchy and has plenty of give without warping out of shape with regular use. And the band is also replaceable in case you happen to destroy it. A little bit more on the construction. The Ridge Wallet's constructed with seven different screws that you can easily remove if you wanted to swap out the elastic band for a money clip or switch out to a different design plate. Now onto the all important functionality. And so with the clean minimalist design, the Ridge along with many other wallets like it make compromises on functionality. And while it's not the worst thing, it's one of the biggest criticisms against Ridge wallets. So are the cards easy to slide in and out? So there are two ways you can access your cards with the Ridge wallet. And no matter how you do it, there's no real super simple way to get your cards out. Where Ridge wallets shine with the design and construction, it suffers in functionality. Sure, the card storage is compact, but it's not as secure as some other wallets and card holders and there's no mechanism in place organizing the individual cards in the wallet. While the top card is the easiest to access, so that should be the card that you use the most, it is a bit tricky sliding the cards in the middle out, but you do get used to it after a while and it becomes relatively easy getting access to all of your cards via this little thumb slot here, this crescent-shaped thumb slot. Personally, I find it a little bit more difficult via the fanning method, although this could be easier for some. You know, ultimately it comes down to personal preference, but I do like that they provide those two ways to access your cards. So there are some better options out there for functionality. So the Ridge has that crescent thumb shaped cutout and it makes it slightly easier to access your cards, but it does take some getting used to. But in my opinion, the best functioning wallets are the ones with a quick press button like Exter or a pull tab like the Vault Skin Chelsea or the Nomadic wallets to access your cards. Now onto the durability. So I've been field testing Ridge wallets for about six months now. And so how does it hold up to daily use? The Ridge, it's a solidly built compact wallet that was made with pretty hard wearing material, whether aluminum or the aluminum infused carbon. And so I don't really destroy my wallets or drop them all that often, but my Ridge wallet has been pretty solid these past handful of months. There are no scratches, marks, or egregious dents, and it's still as clean as it's been from day one. And so I honestly have nothing negative to say when it comes to the durability of the product. And it's bonus points that they offer a lifetime guarantee if your wallet does ever happen to self-destruct. Now on to the drop test. So does it pass the drop test? And it did pass the drop test with flying colors. You know, some wallets with a similar build to this one, you know, ones held together with this elastic band, will literally explode on first contact to the ground, which is a nightmare scenario. And so thankfully, Ridge wallets don't suffer this fate. And it's not that I drop my wallet all that often, but I did test this indoors on wood flooring, and upon drop after drop after drop, my cards always remain secure, and not once did the cards or cash fly out. Well, the cash did pop out on the 10th drop, and it was more so me throwing it in the air to about like seven feet. But other than that, crisis averted with the Ridge and the drop test. So now the pros and cons. So Ridge wallets offer a sleek style and design with ample storage capacity, a solid construction, and overall durability. It's customizable to change the colors and the design, and you get the choice of the cash strap or the interchangeable money clip. As for some of the cons, it sacrifices functionality for style and design. 
And if you ask me, it's a bit pricey compared to similar competitors. So is it worth it? So for starters, the Ridge wallet isn't cheap. Currently clocking in at 107 retail for the aluminum wallets and 150 for the aluminum infused carbon wallets and 250 for the premium 24 karat gold design, you know, that's a pretty penny for many. Overall, the functionality of the Ridge wallet could be improved. And while I did get used to it after a while, the experience is never as simple as a click to expand wallet or a wallet with the pull strip. And so this could be a deal breaker for those who value functionality above aesthetics. But for many, it's only a slight inconvenience that's overcome by all the great features, as well as the attractive form factor, which is a huge buying point. And this may sound cheesy, but there's something to be said about how the wallet makes you feel. And I know an inanimate object making you feel things me out. The absolute best thing about the wallet is how it looks and feels in my hands and it has one of the slickest wallet constructions with a compact build that actually brings me a slight tinge of pleasure every single time that I pull it out to transact with the cashier. Plus the sleek style and compactness of the wallet feels as great in hand as it looks lying on a counter or table. So who knew something like an inanimate wallet could actually boost my mood. No other wallet I've used has given me that feeling to date. And that, in my humble opinion, makes the Ridge wallet worth every penny. Bottom line is, if you don't mind the sacrifice of functionality and care primarily about the style, design, quality, and craftsmanship, the Ridge is perhaps the best wallet money can buy. Alrighty, got another wallet review for you right here and another relevant video for you right here. So go and check one of those out. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead, lightly tap that like button. This is all I got for this video. Cheers to your steez and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.